The world's largest structure isn't man-made. Nature built it. A coral reef, half the size of Texas. A living jewel off the coast of Australia. So large it can be seen from space. And within it, a vast aquarium like none on Earth. No other waters are more diverse. Of fish alone, experts have identified 1,500 species and counted. The Great Barrier Reef is a gallery for beauty, a showcase of the unique, a refuge for the endangered, one of the planet's last paradises. To understand it takes a new breed of scientist, one willing to go to extremes to get answers. The reef is a mystery that can't be solved in the lab. To crack it, you have to live it. Beauty swims with violence. Fish here have the shortest life expectancy on the planet, yet the reef is an orchestra of the living. Where every plant and animal helps sustain the whole. The waste from parrotfish cements the reef. Stinging anemones provide a haven to the vulnerable. Even killers play their part, preventing a population explosion that would destroy this fragile ecosystem. Life doesn't just reside here. The reef itself is built by one of its smallest tenants. For more than 15 years, marine scientist Dave Wackenfeld has been coming down here to study coral polyps. These tiny creatures are closely related to jellyfish, but much smaller. They don't have a bone in their body, yet for half a billion years, they've been nature's greatest builders, architects of labyrinths of limestone. Every bit of this reef has had an odyssey to get here. The coral starts out life as larvae, floating free in the ocean. For each one, the chances of survival are slim. They have to run the gauntlet of a million hungry mouths as they cross up to a thousand miles of open ocean. Fewer than one in a hundred thousand complete the journey, and then they're faced with a second hurdle, finding the perfect landing site. Falling on sand or a crowded outcrop is death. Those precious few that survive will start a colony. Once settled, the larvae begin to grow, transforming into adults called polyps. They develop tentacles that can grab food from the water. As a polyp grows, it puts up a wall of limestone around itself, and then it multiplies. Each polyp can produce thousands of offspring, which all work together to build a living fortress a coral reef. After just a few years, a single piece of coral can harbor as many as 25,000 polyps, all children of the original founder. These creatures live fast, but not all die young. Many corals have helped to build the reef only live for a few years, but some as individual animals will live for a thousand years or more. These animals are as ancient as any plant or animal on our planet. They're quite incredible. Here, the polyps have gone into overdrive. They have built a reef over 1,200 miles long, enough to stretch from Seattle to Los Angeles. Because in this one spot, a unique combination of circumstances have come together to create a coral heaven. The whole reef sits on the barely submerged edge of the Australian coast, known as the continental shelf. Other continents have shelves, but none like this. It's huge, in some places up to 100 miles wide. 
On this shelf, it's summer all year round. Most of all, it's shallow. So this whole stretch of seabed is blasted in sunlight. To polyps, light matters as much as warmth, because living within its tissues is a plant. Inside the flesh of these tiny animals are microscopic plants called algae. But these aren't parasites. None of this would be here without them. When the algae photosynthesize, they take energy from sunlight and carbon dioxide. They make sugars, which help to supply energy to the coral. It's one of nature's perfect partnerships. By capturing the energy from sunlight, the algae supercharges the coral, providing it with up to 20 times more energy, fueling the rapid growth of the reef. When the first coral arrived on Australia's east coast, they found the best place on earth to make a home, one huge shallow sun trap. Trillions followed, in the biggest construction project the world has ever seen, exploiting every piece of real estate. Right up to the very edge of the continent, where the seabed plunges into the abyss. Today, it may look like paradise, but hidden deep beneath the waves lies one of its most brutal and violent secrets. The Great Barrier Reef seems idyllic, life in perfect harmony bathing in warm water all year round. But in the past, this paradise has gone through hell. Scientists now believe that it has endured massive catastrophes that wiped out the reef, almost stripping it of life. Catastrophes that traumatized the entire planet. Scientists are only just beginning to uncover the whole truth.